Okay, example A asks us to find all the lines of symmetry for the shape below. So what we have is a rectangle, and we actually had a rectangle in our examples, so this one should be pretty easy. A rectangle splits in two different ways. You can either draw a line down top to bottom, down through the middle like so, and that represents one line of symmetry because on the left and on the right hand sides of this line, the figure is exactly the same. I could sort of fold it over on top of itself here and have it match exactly. It also works left to right with a rectangle forming a top to bottom symmetry where I could fold it over this way and again have the figure be exactly the same on the top and on the bottom. It would lay exactly down on top of itself if I were to fold it in half top to bottom. Okay, so just two lines of symmetry for a rectangle. Example B. Example B says, does the figure have reflection symmetry? Now. When you're talking about geometric shapes, the symmetry is usually pretty exacting. If it doesn't lay exactly on top of itself, then it's not considered symmetry. However, when you're talking about real world shapes, like obviously this, this photo of a flower, the symmetry isn't quite so exacting. The fact that the flower has a number of petals such that if you were to divide uh, the picture in half from top to bottom here like so, and kind of split that top petal and come down like this, this uh, this figure would essentially be flippable left to right, even though it wouldn't fit exactly. Um, it would essentially be flippable left to right um, and lay on top of itself, kind of like the other ones we were looking at. So even though it's not a perfect symmetry, uh, we do say that this has reflection symmetry because it's it's a real world example of what reflection symmetry looks like. Yeah? Okay, example C. We're gonna get rid of that silly path there. There we go. All right, reflection, or example C says, does this figure have reflection symmetry? Uh, this one's very similar to the last one in that, um, you know, it's not exact, but because the butterfly does have the same wing uh, pattern on the left and on the right, if we were to draw a line down through the middle of the butterfly or of the entire image left to right, you can see that the image is basically the same on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, and that if we were to fold it over, the wings would line up pretty well so we do indeed say that this figure also has reflection symmetry, even though it may not be precisely correct. That's it.